Breastfeeding is an essential part of a baby's growth and development, and it is widely known that breastfeeding has numerous benefits for both the mother and the baby. However, many women are interested in the potential of breastfeeding to prevent pregnancy. In this video, we will discuss the effect of breastfeeding on fertility, the menstrual cycle, and hormones. Understanding your menstrual cycle. To understand the effect of breastfeeding on fertility, it's essential to understand the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is a monthly physiological event that is specific to females, and it is regulated by a complex interplay of hormones. During the menstrual cycle, the lining of the uterus thickens in preparation for pregnancy. Women may experience various symptoms during their menstrual cycle, including cramping, bloating, mood changes, and breast tenderness. After giving birth, it's common for women to experience changes in their menstrual cycle. Postpartum bleeding is a discharge of blood, mucus, and uterine tissue that occurs as the uterus returns to its pre-pregnancy size. Breastfeeding can delay or even stop menstruation due to the hormone prolactin, which is released during breastfeeding. However, it's important to note that breastfeeding is not a reliable form of birth control, and women who breastfeed exclusively may still have a lower chance of becoming pregnant in the first six months after giving birth. The Role of Hormones in Breastfeeding Breastfeeding is regulated by a complex interplay of hormones. Prolactin is the hormone responsible for milk production in the breasts, and it has a calming effect on the body. Oxytocin stimulates the letdown reflex, which allows milk to flow from the breasts, and promotes bonding and relaxation. Estrogen and progesterone play a role in regulating the menstrual cycle and can affect milk production. Prolactin is a hormone that plays a vital role in breastfeeding and milk production, but it also affects fertility. High levels of prolactin can interfere with ovulation, making it difficult to conceive. Here is what you need to know about how prolactin affects fertility. Prolactin and ovulation, during pregnancy and breastfeeding, prolactin levels are naturally elevated, which can suppress ovulation and delay the return of menstruation after giving birth. In some cases, however, prolactin levels can remain high even after a woman has stopped breastfeeding, which can interfere with ovulation and make it difficult to conceive. Hyperprolactinemia Hyperprolactinemia is a medical condition in which prolactin levels are abnormally high. This can be caused by various factors, including certain medications, tumors, and other medical conditions. Symptoms of hyperprolactinemia can include irregular periods, lack of periods, and difficulty getting pregnant. Treatment for high prolactin If high prolactin levels are interfering with fertility, treatment may be necessary. Medications can be used to lower prolactin levels and restore ovulation. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to remove a tumor that is causing high prolactin levels. While prolactin is essential for breastfeeding, it is important to understand how it can affect fertility. If you are having difficulty getting pregnant or have irregular periods, speak with your healthcare provider for guidance and support. With the right treatment, it is possible to overcome high prolactin levels and achieve a healthy pregnancy. Birth Control While Breastfeeding Breastfeeding is a natural form of birth control, but it is not foolproof. Women who breastfeed may still ovulate and become pregnant. If you are not ready to have another baby, it is important to use a reliable form of birth control while breastfeeding. Here is what you need to know about birth control and breastfeeding. Hormonal birth control, hormonal birth control, such as the pill, patch, ring, and shot, can be used while breastfeeding. However, it is essential to choose a method that is safe for both you and your baby. Some hormonal birth control methods can decrease milk supply or affect the quality of breast milk. It is best to speak with your healthcare provider about your options and choose a method that is tailored to your individual needs. Barrier methods, barrier methods of birth control, such as condoms and diaphragms, are safe to use while breastfeeding. They do not affect milk supply or the quality of breast milk. However, they are less effective than hormonal methods and require consistent and correct use. Natural family planning, natural family planning methods, 
such as the lactational amenorrhea method LAM, rely on breastfeeding to prevent pregnancy. LAM is only effective for the first six months after giving birth, and only if certain criteria are met, such as exclusive breastfeeding and no periods. Exclusively breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is a natural and beneficial way to nourish your baby. If you are interested in exclusively breastfeeding your baby, here are some tips to help you succeed. Start early. It is important to start breastfeeding as soon as possible after your baby is born. The first hour after birth is a critical time for establishing a strong breastfeeding relationship. Skin-to-skin -skin contact and frequent nursing can help stimulate milk production and increase your baby's interest in breastfeeding. Nurse on demand, breastfeeding works on a supply and demand basis. The more your baby nurses, the more milk your body will produce. Nurse your baby on demand, whenever he or she shows signs of hunger, such as rooting, sucking on hands, or fussiness. Aim for 8 to 12 feedings per day, newborns typically nurse every 2 to 3 hours, or 8 to 12 times per day. Follow your baby's cues and nurse whenever he or she is hungry. As your baby grows, he or she may start nursing less frequently. Offer both breasts, Offer both breasts at each feeding to ensure that your baby is getting enough milk. This will also help stimulate milk production and prevent engorgement. Avoid pacifiers and bottles. Pacifiers and bottles can interfere with breastfeeding by reducing the amount of time your baby spends nursing. Avoid using them until breastfeeding is well established. Get support. Breastfeeding can be challenging, especially in the early weeks. Reach out to a lactation consultant, your healthcare provider, or a breastfeeding support group for help and advice. Exclusively breastfeeding your baby can provide numerous benefits, including a stronger immune system, better digestion, and improved bonding. With the right support and guidance, you can successfully breastfeed your baby and enjoy a special, rewarding experience. Fertility signs to look for while breastfeeding. Breastfeeding can affect your fertility, but it is not a foolproof form of birth control. If you are interested in tracking your fertility while breastfeeding, here are some signs to look for. Menstrual cycles. The return of your menstrual cycle is a sign that you may be ovulating and can become pregnant. Breastfeeding can delay the return of your menstrual cycle, but it is not a reliable form of birth control. Your cycle may return as early as six weeks postpartum, or it may take several months or longer. Cervical mucus. Cervical mucus is a natural fluid that is produced by the cervix. It changes throughout your menstrual cycle and can be a sign of fertility. Around the time of ovulation, cervical mucus becomes thin, clear, and stretchy, like egg whites. This is a sign that you are in your fertile window. Basal body temperature. Basal body temperature is your body's temperature at rest. It can be an indicator of ovulation, as it typically rises after ovulation. To track your basal body temperature, take your temperature with a basal thermometer at the same time every morning before getting out of bed. Ovulation tests. Ovulation tests can be used to detect the surge of luteinizing hormone, LH, that occurs before ovulation. These tests are available over the counter and can be a reliable way to predict ovulation. Changes in libido. Changes in libido can be a sign of fertility. Around the time of ovulation, many women experience an increase in sexual desire. Boosting your fertility while breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is an excellent way to provide your baby with essential nutrients and antibodies, but it can also affect your fertility. However, there are some steps you can take to improve your chances of conceiving while breastfeeding. Here are some tips to boost your fertility. Breastfeed less often, frequent breastfeeding can suppress ovulation and delay the return of your menstrual cycle. If you are interested in becoming pregnant, you may want to consider breastfeeding less often to increase your chances of ovulating. Supplement with formula, if you are exclusively breastfeeding, you may want to consider supplementing with formula. This can help decrease the frequency and intensity of breastfeeding, which can help your body ovulate and increase your chances of conceiving. Eat a healthy diet, eating a balanced diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, 
and lean protein can improve your overall health and increase your fertility. Exercise regularly. Regular exercise can also improve your overall health and increase your fertility. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week. Reduce stress. Stress can interfere with ovulation and decrease your chances of conceiving. Try to reduce stress in your life by practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or yoga. By taking these steps, you can improve your fertility while breastfeeding and increase your chances of conceiving. When to seek medical attention. After giving birth, many women experience changes to their menstrual cycles, including the return of their periods while breastfeeding. In some cases, complications can arise with the return of your menstrual cycle. It's important to seek medical attention if your period has returned and you experience any of the following symptoms. Bleeding accompanied by sudden, severe pain excessive bleeding, soaking through a tampon or pad within an hour. Bleeding for more than seven days. Foul smelling blood and discharge. Trouble breathing. Though many women understand their bodies and menstrual cycles, a lot can become unclear after giving birth. Do not hesitate to reach out to a professional for some peace of mind and more information. Your doctor can help diagnose the underlying cause of your symptoms and provide appropriate treatment.